I'll bring it around in a minute. Ugh. Woo, good evening. Welcome to Scott Valley Hairdressing. I thought I'd start tonight a little bit differently to how I normally start it because of course some of you always think to yourselves and wonder how he's going to start it this evening. Well, the reason I'm starting it this way tonight is because this is where it all starts from, hairdressing. As some of you will remember um, tonight is an instructional video of hairdressing as well as a communication network of what we're talking about, what we're doing. This is where it all starts. You have to think about how the customer feels, the training, what's involved in what it's all about. It's always three things that we're looking for. Number one is world class customer service, which is what we're hoping to deliver as a hairdresser. Number two, consistency. Consistency of both cut and consistency of also the delivery of what you're doing in terms of customer service and what else goes with it. Number three, the most important part is added value. You have to think about what you're putting into the cut, the products, which tonight in our case is Muck Hair Care, are exclusively sponsored by Muck Hair Care, so you have to think about that. The Muck products are working in harmony with the cut, what we're doing when we're delivering the service and how it all comes together. So those three things are really important as a customer when they're sitting in the chair. As a hairdresser, both teacher and also hairdresser, a lot of working behind the chair. So whenever somebody says I work behind the chair, basically this is the chair and this is where we work. So big evening to everybody tonight who's national and international tonight especially. I know there's people watching from Spain tonight, Madrid in particular. Uh, Jamie, Jamie and Dan, I know you'll be watching tonight. And of course Paco's mum, I know you'll be on there, which we'll say hello to you again in a minute. Um, also a big good evening to Nick McCaffrey if you're watching tonight and also a big good evening to Dan Metcalf. And of course let's not forget Sharon, you were great at the weekend, thank you so much for your uh, input and help with New Bowl Verdon. Because of course let's not forget you were my friend first before Nick. So also big good evening to Big Mate, I know you'll be on there tonight, you're going to really enjoy this presentation Big Mate tonight. There's a lot of instruction on this one which I'm sure you'll know about. Uh, and of course let's not forget Limery Atkinson and of course Grace and Cara. So of course without further ado let's go and meet what we're going to be doing tonight and the model and everything else. Let's have a quick look at our little friend who always films on the camera. Here he is, oh, uh, yeah. my younger brother with his little Christmas tree thing that's going on there. Karen Booth. Nice to see you on there tonight and also Ian, I hope you're really, really well. So, what's it all about? We decided to do this initially a year and a half ago. We thought, I was frustrated, I wanted to make a DVD of hairdressing. I was going to do three haircuts. In fact, we've got another three to go before Christmas. We've got the model tonight, model 44. We've got uh, Jay Fairgreave next week and we've got uh, Katie Locke, which is the last one. So we've got another two to go yet before the end of the year and then we'll, we'll then start. For the, end, well, for the beginning of next year. So this is how it works. We basically go on a journey of working with the haircut tonight, pretty much like a canvas. You'll see me work at the beginning, you'll see my hand positioning, body positioning, how it all comes together, how the scissors work in harmony with the products. And uh, again, it's great to be using the mug products, which of course, we good evening to Mark tonight, Clive, Leo, everybody that's at Mug Central um, in uh, Australia, Jody, everybody that I've tagged tonight, um, Scott Reynolds, because of course I never say like Scott Reynolds, everybody who works for Muck in Australia, big good evening tonight, I know you'll be watching. Also, um, I love working with this product, which you'll see tonight, it comes in harmony with the haircut and works perfect. Again, everybody in Muck Central UK, thank you so much for allowing me to be your UK Artistic Director, it's always a pleasure to work with you. Florence, Alan, everybody that works there. Also, Sarah tonight, big good evening, and Ben, physiotherapist, great physiotherapist, you keep moving, which is what it's all about, I'm able to give it the twist, which of course, some of you now have been injured, but now you can see I'm working on. So, anybody I've not said good evening to, the Saxon family, I'm sure we'll be saying good evening to loads of you tonight, and Dad will call it out. But in the meantime, let's go and meet model number 44. <laughs> so, we're back in the usual place over to where the salon is, so again, without further ado, I'll let, let you in, introduce tonight very special person, somebody who's just dropped in at the very last minute and it uh, gives me great pleasure to introduce a great friend but also a very entertaining person, Mr. Model number 44, Woo! Paco. Hi, my name's Lewis Robinson and I'm covered in muck. Say hello to Mark. Say hello to Jamie because I'll be watching tonight. Hi James. Say hello to Pierpoint because I bet he'll be watching also tonight. Oh, Mr P. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So, so you can see with Lewis Robinson tonight, 
great head of hair to work with this evening and I think that it's great for our Spanish connection tonight, the Madrid crew, they'll all be watching this evening, everybody from Spain, especially Lewis's mum. So this is how it's going to work this evening, let's have a look at Model 44's hair. So we're going to be going with classic fade into the back, which I know Big Mate loves a bit of that, so we're going to be working with tonight a lot of clipper work on a skim fade, so we're going to be taking this right into the neck, so we're we'll thinking about discipline, how it all works, making sure it's nice and smooth as it goes into the neck, a smooth cut, smooth if you're on predictive text. We're then going to be working through taking this weight out and what you tend to get as you can see there's a band of weight around this part here which we're going to be taking that out. We're then going to be working through the top half of the haircut going on a 90 degree turn as we come through to the top here. Now rather than working in layers traditionally that go forward like this, we're going to be working in a half circle which basically allows us to use a multi-directional layer which we can move left or right, which in Lewis's case we're going to be wearing it short to long which preserves the fringe and keeps it slightly shorter here which looking from the front gives us a strong shape and you can really see that quiff which is what we want. We'll then go into scissor over comb and do some uh, clipper, clipper work afterwards. We'll then work the beard which will bring in all the products and then do the eyebrows. So what we'll be working with is the high way of the hair. Tonight we'll be working with the recession bone. We'll work with the parietal ridge which again as I said earlier on we'll be working with a lot of that parietal ridge area tonight. We'll then be working with apex for any uh, roofers that are watching tonight. Upper occipital bone, the protruding bone which is the um, occipital bone, lower occipital bone, the mastoid process and the nape. All of these will be working tonight in harmony which is very very important. Which of course, the important part is when you're doing a haircut you've got to be thinking about how you're going to be working this journey, because it is a journey, it's a bit like looking at a map. You need to be thinking, right, I'm working from this point to this point. You'll see Lewis's hair, how it all comes together with that high weight tonight. So let's look at the products we're working with tonight. We're working with Fat Mutt Blowout Mousse, which will be our cutting lotion this evening. We'll then be using a little bit of Fat Mutt Volumizing Spray, which will then plump it up and make it interesting. We'll be using then to blow dry possibly the Hard Muck, which is how it all started at Muck. Finishing product will be Savage Muck tonight. And the last part of the programme tonight will be Mr. Muck Beard Oil, which we'll be putting on to Lewis's pretty little beard later. So, without <coughs> further ado, every journey starts at the beginning of a journey, it starts with a product. This is the product we're going to start with, which will be the Fat Muck Blowout Mousse. Okay, so we need, as Nick McCaffrey knows, a golf full size, which is really important because again, most people get their hands together and just plop it on. If you use the golf ball size, you can see it's quite a luxurious product. It allows you even distribution when you're putting the product on. Now, if you actually let this product disperse into a glass, it turns into conditioner. So we're starting to condition uh, Paco's hair, Lewis Robinson's hair, right at the beginning, which is the best part of it because then the products allow me two things. It's softening the hair as I'm cutting it, and number two, it allows me to see the natural fall, so I can actually see where it's going after the cut's been done or during, which is what it's all about. Pretty cool, eh? You didn't know that they did that. No, did you? I still... was oh, just plonking that on my hair. Plonking the hell of it. Plonking muck on my hair. Plonking muck on my Ooh. hair. That's exactly right. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be working with, first of all, a horseshoe section on the top, which segregates the top from the bottom. So the important part of this is thinking about doing the U-shape. Now, it's quite short on here already, so we need to just take it from the back. I'd normally do this part coming from the recession round but if I started to comb it like that it would be quite difficult because what would happen is when from the front it would make the hair stick out so it's easier sometimes just to comb it from the midsection. What we're looking for is a nice clean section. Clean section is clean air cut. You'll enjoy this when you watch this on playback when you see what it all looks like. It's like somebody's just Ah yes, just plonked a uh, horseshoe on the top of your head, which is what it's all about. Excellent. As long as you don't look like you've been kicked in the head by a horse, you're all right. <laughs> That's what it's all about. That might be a bit of a problem. But if you if you've been branded with a, with a U shape or branded TRS, that might be a little bit different, of course. Who's come on, Dad? We've got anybody else dropped in there? Who sure. can we say hello to tonight? Oh, anybody Nikki else? Gal. Nikki Gal. Let's have a look at Nikki Gal quick. Hi Nikki, great to see you. You'll be looking out for me running in my orange top. I look forward to seeing you when I'm on the A47 running around. Okay. James. 
Look, come on. James Butler, what a surprise. Jamie! Please say hello to Jamie. <laughs> say, hello, say hello to Jamie. Hi, James. <laughs> hey, quick, come over here, James. Come bring over here, quick. Here you go, you want to see the Christmas tree? This is it, it's starting now. It's even got pretty little lights on it, look. There you go, this is the start of it. So my mum's going to be working and my dad's going to be working on the Christmas tree. So that should be completed hopefully by the end of the week. So he says you want to see the Christmas tree. It's coming slowly. So, okay. Jamie! Tell me about your electric drill, Jamie, with its reverse gear. Right, <laughs> so one side will start like this. This is how it dictates. Say hello to Dan as well. Good evening to Dan. So the thumb will start as the dictating part of this then we change over to the thumb on the other side. So that really is the important part, what we're looking for as we cut this. See that weight line that's just there? We're taking that weight line off. It's just a tiniest bit, but enough to make a difference to a haircut. A lot of hairdressers tend to leave this part. Nick McCaffrey, woo! Good to see you, bro. Where were you Saturday night? I couldn't believe I didn't see you. I didn't see my bro scare. But hey, good to see you on there. Um, you in Germany tonight? Let dad know where you are. If you're in Germany with Wolfgang, or are you out with your Italian friend? Or are you back at home tonight? I need to know, bro. <laughs> We've got a nice skin fade, so Shaz will really enjoy that sort of meaning. Loads of banter. It's great. Nice young lady come on from Australia. Who's it? Good day. Good day. Nice to see you with us. It's always good to see the Australians on their international friends. Welcome. John Stewart. Oh, John Stewart, one of our previous models. Hello, Joanne. Nice to see you with us again tonight. I hope you're well. The first lady, your first model came on very early. Karen Booth, she did. Yes. Hello, Karen Booth. Let's just come around this way, Dad. That's it. Quick switch over. Right, this side now changes over with the thumb leading yeah, this way. Berlin. He's in Berlin tonight. Is he excellent? Yeah. Good to see you, Nick. Hope you're having a good time and staying at a nice mm. hotel there tonight. Where, where's your little friend, Dan? Has he come on yet? That's the big question. Hopefully Sharon will be on, she'll enjoy this one tonight, a nice skin fade. So as you can see, we're now Josh working. Brown. Hey, Josh Brown. Mm. Nice to see you, brother. Hope you're okay on there. Hope the family's well. Congratulations on being an uncle again. <laughs> so you can set another model there. We're just uh, coming up now, with, again, it's the second knuckle, which is the discipline. Really important. There's only a the tiniest bit that comes off at this point, but it, again, it's enough to make a massive difference, okay? So now we go back to the beginning. We take out the clips, segregate the haircut in half. Again, for those of you that are watching EastEnders tonight, Coronation Street, I know it's difficult because you've got to peel yourself away while you're watching Paco's hair being cut, but it will be quite a short presentation tonight. Or as the uh, Americans say, presentation. EastEnders has got nothing on my hair. <laughs> That's right. It hasn't. <laughs> so it'll be probably the next sort of 40, 45 minutes if that. You'll see Paco's there being cut, but at least you can see what's going on. A bit of entertainment for Jamie tonight and the boys in Madrid. I'm not seeing your mum come on yet. I'm sure she'll appear at some point. I'm sure you'll tell his dad when Paco's mum comes says, on. J Jamie Buffer says, does Paco get a discount for being so small? <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice, is it? <laughs> I've had to sit on a Coca-Cola crate on top of the chair. Yeah, that's it. There you go, that's it. That's not very nice, is it? Ask him about his fishing price electric drill. That's it. For the viewers that are watching tonight that wonder what the drill joke is, it's because Jamie in Madrid decided to drill and burnt out three drill bits, but realised didn't realise he was drilling in reverse gear and then burnt the drill out. Well done, Jamie. <laughs> That's why we bought him a Fisher Price drill. So now, uh, that's for you, that is. So now we're just taking this side off, you can see. Again, it's just keeping it all clean. So that's what it's all about. So now we're going to go through to the next part, which is working from the apex to the upper occipital bone. So this part is just taking the weight out. Again, really, really important. So start with this side. Again, it's all about body positioning. Just got to think there, just take that edge off. Now I'm just going to switch around a bit. It's just come on this way, Dad. That's it. There you go. So now you're turning around, so you're going sections one, two there, sections there. Everything's pretty quick moving. Again, you'll see the photographs later. We've taken the before photos, so you get a chance to see what we've done. The Paco's there at the end on close, because I know a lot of people like to see what's going on. Now the idea of doing this is, because we've got a crown on the top, we can see, by Moving the hair around, it actually makes it so that the hair sits better on the top of the head. 
a lot of people tend to leave this part square and what that does is if you cut a section that's square like that there's a lot of hair just here so it doesn't tend to sit right so if you look at it it's slightly rounded and what it does then is with the harmony of the muck product you can see you can shake it now you should see it works with the crown or as the Americans <coughs> call it the swirl and it just sits a lot better so we've knocked that weight line out already made it sit better now we're going to work from the apex to the front of the hair and we're going to be going short to long the reason we're going long at the front is to preserve the fringe and make it so that it's aesthetically pleasing to the eye when you look at it straight on so now i'm going to take the middle section out first so i need to be pushing my arm up when i'm doing this it's really important with the arm going up that's what dictates the actual angle of degree that you're cutting at just keep it nice and natural again this is going to be looking quite odd for some people but it's actually the way I do things which is a little bit different and we do things that's got belly hairdressing so again it's all about doing things that are slightly different okay so now we're going to work backwards towards me it's just coming through again second knuckle which is your discipline you'll know more about your hair tonight by the time I've finished it than what you did do before <laughs> You can see as I'm cutting, I'm just taking it. Push yourself down the stairs, right? Don't want well, you tripping over, right? I'm tripping over my foot. And again, Adam, Adam. Helen, 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 Helen. Nice to see you tonight, Helen. Hope you're okay. I have to listen. You have to pass me hearing aid. I'm struggling to hear. You. <laughs> <laughs> you want my hearing aid? Yeah, is that all right? Can I borrow it? Robinson. Hey, sir. Dabby Robinson. Robinson, nice to see you on there. Are you okay tonight? Good to see you with us. It's all good. It's quite nice to cut hair in the salon again after cutting out the back of the Concordia Theatre with uh, Paul Grant Reason the other night. And then, of course, we did the show the other week, so it's quite nice just to be back in the salon doing hair live. It's brilliant. Like I said, we've got another two presentations. Presentations to do before Christmas. Mm -hmm. Before we have a little break. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Right, we're going now through this side, just making sure that we've got the arm lowered. Just to bring it up, that's it, Dad, well done. Let's bring him in there. That's it, that's it, it's all good. Now you can just sort of see, it's all good. What's your mum's name? What's your mum's name? Deborah. Deborah, yeah, she's just come on. Do you want to say hello to her? Hi, mother. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Paco's mum, <laughs> hope you're okay. <laughs> I just realised the name. Deborah Robinson. She'll be thinking, here's my son. He's having his hair cut. <laughs> well at least you can see. No. Your son likes. Become famous. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of people watching tonight. You'd be amazed how many people watch. Okay, so what this does now is it basically makes everything join together. Now I'm just gonna go through the opposite way, cross-checking. And what this will do is just make sure everything stays clean. So again, remember only going to the second knuckle. If you go past the second knuckle, that's when you generally tend to cut your fingers or really make a mess of yourself. So, you know. Mum says hi, guys. Hi, Debbie. You're all right. Nice to see you. Well, I, I cannot see you, but it's nice to see that you're with us tonight. It's really good. Nice. We've got some international viewers. We have got a few on tonight. It's really good. And uh, at least you can see your son live now, which is great. It beats watching EastEnders this evening, which is what it's all about. <laughs> Big Mate will probably be tuning into a bit of that as well tonight, whilst he's listening through his Samsung and watching through his iPhone. You'll enjoy the bit in a minute when I do the skin fade, Big Mate. We'll go through the discipline with the clippers. It's always a good one. That is. All the animals have been surveyed. Certainly have. Right, so now <laughs> as we go through this part, we'll just make sure that everything stays in unity what we're doing so it's nice and heavy and you can really sort of see how everything's just sitting together. At this point now if we wanted to add texture we put that in so we'll just add a little bit of texture just point cutting just so getting the weight relationship of the haircut really really important and of course we're cutting on real time as well which means that we're actually cutting to what it would be in the salon so it's still quite nice just to do a little bit of real time. This just helps with the blow drying and the blending, so just going into a bit of thinning scissors now, 29 teeth and a blade. Again, in we go. Just take a bit in there. Again, we're just angling it in slightly. You can see the change now, all the colours start changing. Paco, you're going blonde in there. Blonde? Yeah. <laughs> really? 
It's fallen. I think you might find it's grey. <laughs> no, it's fine. There's not one. Not one strand of it in here, you're alright. It's just the lights. So now just doing this, again I just like to sort of add as much as I can into it for the added value. Okay, so the next product tonight, this is how it started, the muck product range started with muck, hard muck. We're gonna use this. It's a nice product, it's like a clay, you can see that. It's like a clay, you can see that as I'm just taking some out. It's quite a thick product. This is by the way, it's large sizes. We're doing this now for Christmas. If anybody wants any uh, to purchase for Christmas, I know some people view that want to think of a Christmas present, we've got the muck sets. We oh, yeah. are. Set of muck. You think we're joking? We've got duo packs. Bring the camera over here just a second. As you can see, look, we've got the duo packs at the moment for Christmas, large and small. We've got the bottles as well, electrical. We've got all sorts tonight. So it's all there. Some people are thinking, oh yeah, some products. I'll think of that for my uh, partner for Christmas. Muck there everywhere. You go, you see, there's muck everywhere. That's it. <laughs> so <laughs> normally, as a rule, you would put. Certainly, yeah, it's everyone. You, you would put paste on uh, generally when you finish at the end, but by putting paste on now, it allows us to A, see the product, and B, get as well, see the haircut with the product, and also gives us a chance to get a nice finish. Right, so the blow dry. We're looking at, at this point now, we'll be drying it in the direction that it dries, and as we get to the front, we'll be rocking the brush and lifting it up slightly. Which again, it's really important. We always think about the direction of the way the hair lies, the blow dry. You want to be getting that airflow going all the way through the hair. When you come to do the finish in a minute, all the personalisation, you just have to make sure that everything is dried nicely. Just rotate that round onto the crown, which again just makes it sit better, and just replicate on the other side. A bit easier than last week, okay, Dad, for the blow dry. A bit easier than last week. Okay, so left and right. Again, you can see the cut how it's working, it's short to long. That little bit of length there, just by touching it, you can just start to see the shape. It's got a bit of texture in it, there's no lines, it's looking really natural. There's all things you're looking for. Again, as a hairdresser, you've got to be quite disciplined with what you're doing in order to get the best look, which is really important, okay? So now, underneath, airflow, with the brush, lifting it up. If it did tend to struggle, you just rock the brush left and right, and then as it does that, it starts to look all of a sudden, lift it up even more. These are just all little tricks to use. Okay. I had to learn sort of how to do that, which was... But again, it's just all about little tricks. Right, so, personalisation. This is the important part of the haircut now. Bringing it all together. So, you've got to imagine all the way through here, that's the line we're imagining, and what we're going to do is we're going to fade up to that line. So we're literally going short to long. Now, I tend to start with a wider part of the comb first, because if there's a problem, you can then get yourself out of trouble with the thinner part of the comb. If you went in with a thin part of the comb and made a mistake, like stuck a line in it, there's nowhere to go. So it's all about rhythm, keeping the scissors moving, and using the comb to scoop in and out. Because of course, scooping is really important. So that's not drinking. So you go up to that line. <laughs> this is classic 1950s graduation, what we're doing now. So you're looking for two things, you're looking for the way the colour blends and you're looking for the way the hair sits in relation to the light. So if it didn't sit right you would see a massive line and again you can look at the side and see a side profile. Again we'll be visiting this in a minute with a pair of clippers to keep it all nice and clean. Same principle really, it's just all fading and blending and this is what really makes it nice if you can do this. Again it's all about sitting straight onto the haircut keeping it nice and clean, keeping the rhythm going with the scissors. Really important, that is. Okay, around this side, all of a sudden the colour starts to change. Don't worry, you're not going grey. <laughs> not tonight anyway. <laughs> Might do later if you get spray painted. <laughs> Paco looks like Bino. 
<laughs> that's it. Ah, <laughs> yes. Ah, yes, that's it. So, I'm guessing that Jamie might start doing this on Dan's there. He might think, oh, I can cook like Scott. I'll give him a trim. And those other 14 <laughs> other people that work there. Oh, no. Oh, I don't want to take it. It's fine. No, Do you want to take it? It's all right. Take it's it. fine. It's, it's probably Jamie. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> probably, I bet yeah. it is Jamie ringing. Right, so now at this point, we get the clippers. There we go. Okay, no <clears throat> pair of clippers, wall clippers. Let's just get them in two. And that's what we need first of all. Okay, so here's a closed blade which is represents the shorter part of the comb. That's the open blade which represents the large wide part of the comb. So we're going to start with that first. Now I've already scissor over combed it. So we're just going to go in and out. So we're going to go two, two and a half, two, one, one and a half, and then into a skin fade. So this is how we do it. We can give bring this, up. give me out, kid. Give me, give me up, Scotty. Give me up, Scotty. <laughs> right, at any point I can take this fade off. So I can fade out there, I can fade out there, I can fade out wherever. But I'm going to just take it up and fade it out to this imaginary line on this part. You can hear it cutting. It's been freshly oiled. Again, really important, this part, you have to think about the discipline involved in the clippers. Most hairdressers tend to, I say most, some, barbers tend to rush and what happens is they slam the clippers into the neck and what you find is as they slam it into the neck it makes the neck quite red and it also can lead to things like ingrown hairs it can make sometimes infections so you've got to be quite careful you've got to make sure your clippers are clean I recommend you use Dettol it's good and also you've got to use a blade that's sharp and not blunt because again if it's blunt it pulls and it really does hurt so I'm just going on it. Again, you can see nice and steady, nice and slow. And just fade that off. So discipline in this part is really, really important. I always say any haircut, it's all about the discipline. Okay, let's get the number one. We'll start with the half, open it out. Just go and tight so you want you tonight. I'll be a girlfriend. Just fade it out. You can see the difference now. Just uh, if you come in there, you can really see the difference. So let's go for one. You should just be able to see that now. It's going a bit tighter. Right, here comes the skin fade now. This is a skin fade half with an open blade. Just chip that out just there. Now we're going to go properly on the skin. This is now, so it just really goes down. There we go. Let's see if we can show you in the light. So you should be able to see that now. Really, really skinned out tight on the light. That's it, you can catch that now. So that really works nicely and that, that really shows off really just how tight you can go with it. So now we've got to re replicate this with the rest of the hair cut all the way through. Nicely on there, Helen, tonight. Hopefully it's uh, revived you as wanting to be a hairdresser. I know you said through the week it had really uh, inspired you to sort of want to do hairdressing. So you can do it, you know you can. Just going for it. Don't be scared. Just go for it. Alright, so move the ear out of the way, really important. Again, this is a really disciplined haircut, as with many that I've done and you've seen me cut. This is really important because, again, this haircut will show everything, even on the photos later. When I do the photos for you to look at, you'll all see everything on there. Alright, here we go then. So, this is where it all starts to change. Open blade again. No cutting any corners on this, folks. It's all literally what it is, is what you see, is what you get. So I'm just going there, not slamming it into the neck. So it's really important, it's got to be nice and smooth. Or as a good friend says, nice and smooth. We've been doing this one. As you can see now, it really starts to change everything. So again, if you leave this long, around the top of the ear, what will happen is, two, three weeks time, this will grow out and the rest of it grows out at a slower rate. So you need it to be looking sharp. It will actually also show off things like cheekbones and really accentuate that as well. So you gotta think about all these things. I hope your mum likes your haircut, by the way. <laughs> I feel quite pressured having your mum watching. <laughs> Is your dad watching too? Oh, no idea. That's a deal with no, no eyes. <laughs> It's all good. Right, you can now see Matthew the changes. Sidwell. Matthew Sidwell. Good to see you. I'll get an answer on that question soon. 
All right. See you on there, my friend. I feel like the music tonight. Okay, so now let me know about that change of image as well. So here we go. And you can really start to see the change as I'm coming up here. You can see the colours fading in perfect. So again, as I said to you all earlier on, it's really important the fade of the colour. Lee Morris. Where is that? Lee Morris. Lee Morris! Oh, hey, Lee Morris, great to see you with us. Like you were having uh, a fun time the other week over in uh, Rome. Looks like uh, you've been enjoying yourself, my friend. Good to see you with us tonight. You know what's happening because we've had all this done to you. So, you can see now, just cleaning it out again. Colour's really important on this part because you're really looking for the fade of the colour. So lighting's got to be really, really important also on this. So you can really see now the discipline as it's coming in. Okay. Good bit of build up of the music just as we're coming through on the sides. Like a bit of build up, it's good. It's all good. It's just like being on stage, Paco, tonight. I was going to get up and have a dance, but... <laughs> That's it, you can do, later. <laughs> That's it. Jamie might get excited. Okay, there's side one. Now we're going to go back through to side two. You can really see the difference now on this. Back to you see this bit. Okay, just make sure we've not missed anything. Just to make sure it's all alright. And again, all you're doing is replicating. You don't want to be sort of too sort of relaxed with it. You've got to again be really, really positive as you're doing it because again, it really does make a difference. Here's my little friend. He's come over this side now with a camera. He'll be having visions of him appearing, filming. That's <laughs> <laughs> it. You were saying when you get home tonight, stage left, stage right. Yeah. That's what you do, you see. It's all good. So you can really start to see the changes now as I'm just putting this in. This is one and a half. So it all makes a big change. So drop down to the one. Again, really important. Like I said earlier on, it's important to keep your flippers oiled and maintained. Because again, it does make a big difference. These are working like all day for me, so. You just have to make sure that everything's really, really well oiled up. Oiled like a slick machine. That's it, it's important. That's what it's all about. <laughs> or oiled like a slick drill. Oil your machine. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Maybe you should oil a drill up for Jamie. <laughs> That's it. Tell me about the, the dolphin music. That's it. Okay. So that's all nicely faded, right? So now we're going to go through to this part over the ear again. Make sure your ear goes down. That's it. Good stuff, good stuff. Some nice skin fading coming in here. It's all really, really important. All this is again, as I say, the fade's really important. That's what it's all about. Just to make sure that you get the fade. Everybody likes a nice little uh, skin fade in here. So we'll work on the beard in a minute, fade it out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So it's just going. <laughs> That's going to be the latest one I'm going to do on that. <laughs> That's it. This would be ideal if you were going out into the sun, wouldn't it? Into the what, the sun? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chance to be a fun Finally. thing. Yeah. Take a look outside the window tonight. The sun, <laughs> there's non existent sun yeah. there tonight. Sun, what sun? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. There, there is no sun tonight. More chance of catching hydrothermia. That's correct, it is cold tonight. For those of you around the world and the sun's out, I'm sure it's beautiful. Okay, we're looking for the t-shirt line now, just to make sure that's all faded out. So again, just make sure you take it down. A lot of people tend to leave hair poking up above the line. So again, just make sure you take that out nicely. Right, at this point now, we're trimming to the beard. A little bit of the beard. So again, you're just looking at the way it grows. We'll go on about a half for this one, just to fade it in nice. Coming against the grain. Again, it's really important. I tend to do the shape of the beard after. Just take the bulk of it out first. And then, just look at the way it grows. Keep it all nice and fine. Again, a lot of people are quite scared to trim beards. 
it's nothing to be frightened of all you've got to do is just look at the way it grows and work with it try and cut against the grain because it does make it easier that's it okay that's it so you can smile if you want to cobblama <laughs> <laughs> that's it my friend oh, it's coming on the other side okay i'll bring you around this way that's it as if by magic we've come on the other side here we go yeah. i'll try to see this good to cook to this baby there you go crazy so i want to cut a bit of this again it's what it's all about just making sure it goes all right bring the chin up that's it you can see under there keep it all nice and clean again you're looking for the same amount of degree all the way through it just to make sure that everything's all all right got pins and needles in the hands by the looks of it there dad with the camera it's cramp it's gone even worse it's gone from pins and needles it's folks to cramp it's all right good I'm so pleased to <laughs> thank <coughs> you for that big mate of the week said I don't know I don't know your dad does it last week in particular right so what we're doing is we're just going through because it is quite a long time stand and film so we appreciate it the viewers get a chance to see what's going on at home Paco's mum gets to see and Jamie Oh, just going along that line again this is really important these are all bits that people tend to forget so just nudging that just very very lightly just make sure you get the corners because again that's really important you're only using the clippers really as a um, edging tool now a bit like a laser just going around and just lasering the lining just keeps it all nice and tidy Okay, so there we go. That's the beard. So what we we'll trim now is the eyebrows. Do the eyebrows next, and then we we'll do the blending in. The reason I leave the blending in is for two reasons. Number one, I can come back to. Yeah. There you are. Um, two reasons. Number one is I can. Uh, oh, Go back to the blending later so I can then look at it with a fresh set of eyes and number two of course there's a lot to get all the beard and everything all out the way everything in this area the haircut so I know the bottom part is done I can then theoretically work with the top half so you know there's a method in the madness it's just what it's all about okay eyebrows it's just gonna go through now just bringing everything forward use the thinnest part of the comb for this you can see there's a few long strands Take those off there, free hand cut, always hold with two hands if you're doing that. You can just keep it nice and steady because you need a steady hand when you're doing this. Okay, just come around the other side. That's fine, you start your. Okay. Here we go then. Just wonder where you're going for a minute. That's it. Mind the stool, you don't want to fall over the stool. I thought you were going to fall over the stool on it as well for a minute. I thought that'd be interesting. Pick you up in the camera. Okay, there we go. So that's done now. Okay, that's the eyebrows done. Nice and easy. Always stand about where the ear is. Then you can have a little look and sit, have a little scan down there and see if there's anything on the line. Then you can take it off, which is easy, right? So always try and keep it all brushed down because then if you keep the guest nice and clean, it's just nice and easy. Right, at this point now, we're going to go into the fade in between the skin fade what we've got here and the next part up on the top which then makes everything a lot more easier all right see uh lee morris has gone on there i've not done this yet tonight wherever it is Woo! Well, i've done that so there you go <laughs> just reminded me of it well done it tends to get a bit serious sometimes all right so wide bit of the comb in there Get it all, yeah. You're a popular man tonight, aren't you? Seems that way, yeah. It is. It's probably Spanish friends on there tonight saying, Go, Paco, go, go. <laughs> let's see some, let's see some. <laughs> so, first, Jimmy and his gang. Jimmy and the gang. I thought we'd come back on again for Jamie a Jamie and the gang. Jamie and the magic torch. <laughs> Jamie and the magic drill. That's it. Could make a film of that. Jamie and the magic drill. <laughs> that would be quite good, wouldn't it? Okay, so. You can see where we're going with this now, just making sure everything's all blended. Then what we'll do then is get the thinning scissors now, do some more fading in. Then I'm going to go round it again, just to make sure I've not missed anything. Also get the thinning scissors, that's it. Okay, so now we're going with the thinner part of the comb. 
drive it, really drive it in. Now, this removes 50% of what I'm cutting. These are taking out 50% of hair. So you always got to remember that when you use a pair of thinning scissors, 50% of the hair is, is coming off. So a lot of people tend to forget that and just go crazy with a pair of thinning scissors and wonder why there's a load of hair coming off. So it's quite interesting. Matthew Sidwell, hi my friend. Good to see you on there with us tonight. It's good. Very good. Okay, so you can really sort of see what we're doing here. The light's really good as well. It's working really well. Great photography from my dad as well tonight. Thank you. Give everybody a little wave, Dad, actually. Look through the lens and give yourself a little wave. That's it. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hi, hi, world. That's it. It's always good. So as we're really coming towards the latter parts of the cut now, what we tend to do now is just visually look at everything and make sure it's all sitting right. There's no, you know, sort of pieces that don't need to be there. If there is, then I need to get rid of those and take them off. Are you feeling all right? Are you going to get to sleep? Yes. I'm very relaxed, to be honest. That's really good. Yeah. That's, that's good. Take it as a compliment. It's the way it should be. I mean, that's a good point, that is, that when you are having a haircut, it should be a relaxing experience. Yeah. It's relaxing for the hairdresser. The relax, the, the, theoretically, the hairdresser does relax. If you've got harmony with the guest, it's good. It's therapeutic. Yeah. People tend to forget that, that hairdressing is a therapeutic experience. You can go in and feel really, you know, like you've had a bad day, and come out and feel really good. Feeling good. Yeah. Uh, yeah so I could just make you feel that way. That's it. Katie's on tonight watching. Ah, yes. <laughs> That's it. Try to bring around this way. A little bit more fading just on the bottom here. It's all important. You've got to think about the fade. It's really important, that is. And then a bit at the front. These parts at the front, sometimes, generally, they tend to grow up pretty quick as well. So you've just got to really get those as well. Make sure they're all nicely blended through. Okay, we'll get the clippers in a minute and just do a little bit more fading at the bottom. Okay. Just going to go through the top panel now, only just around the crown area. The front's quite heavy and we want it to stay heavy, but around here we certainly want to take a bit more out of it. We should just make it work a little bit easier. So again, just working in harmony with the shape of what's happening. Just got to make sure that you get the weight out of it, because what will happen is it will grow quick. And then this part on the top tends to protrude up and it just grows out a lot faster than the front so what you'd have is the top part wouldn't sit right with the front so, i.e. that would grow faster than this and it would look right so that's why we've taken it shorter because it allows the growing time a lot more slower so then the fringe and the quiff has got the emphasis on the Dick cut. Dick Tino Garcia Tura 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 nice to see you say hello to mm -hmm. Dick Tino I want to say hello. Hola buenas tardes <laughs> Come estas? Bene, bene. Good to see you, my friend. I'm guessing you're all the way down the road there on Hearst Road watching. Or wherever you're living now, I forget. But I'm guessing you're around the area, my friend, or you're over in, uh, could it be, um, Spain. <laughs> Good to see you with us again. Tura, tura, tura. That's it. That's when he was the manager of uh, the Albion, as it was. Uh, <laughs> that's what he used to always shout, great. So a bit more blending just through here. So we're literally not far away from the completing the end of the haircut now. It's really just a question of me just being um, OCD and aesthetically pleasing to the eye with, with the cut now, which is what, of course, we like to be at Scott Bailey hairdressing. It's very important. We've got a great dedicated team, which uh, we do take pride in it. What's it say? it all off. <laughs> well, I was tempted to, actually. <laughs> I was tempted to, but he very kindly stepped in at the very last minute when the other model let me down, so it was really cool. So obviously you've got to have respect for the guest and sort of do what they want. I'm sure you'd like to chop it all off if you had the opportunity. Show me outside the front door now. Don't worry, pack it, you won't be. Chop it off, cabron. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> see, see who's got the big uh, kahunas. That's it. <laughs> That's, that's the one, my friend. So now you can just see, I'm just going to go through it and just clean a few more little bits off. So 
it's quite customary just to go through it again and just look at bits. Again, as I say, you just look at it and just sort of see the bits that you kind of like and don't like, and it just sort of then just shows itself. Just clean it off. Oh, it's a bit more in the neck I'm not quite happy with. But again, you're looking at it visually through the mirror to see what's going on as you're looking at the cut, to see how it looks, and then looking at it as well when you're looking at it. So there's like a three-dimensional cut on it. Just a little bit of fade off the skin. Just a little bit more. Don't worry, I'll leave some skin on for you, right? <laughs> that's it. How's your skin, sir? I like my skin. <laughs> that's it, that's, that's what you'll be singing. I like my skin. That's it. Again, just taking that edge off. Your phone will be ringing again in a minute. <laughs> There's somebody else ringing. The TRS crew. That's it. It's not too cool. Never stops ringing. Doesn't. <laughs> Not too cool to be on the TRS crew, that's what it is. Right, bit on the occipital bone. Because again, when we're cutting, we are thinking about these things all the time, about the bones and where it's all working. So just above slightly the occipital bone now, just working on that, just to make sure that everything just sits nice. As we're now coming towards the end of it. So what I do really now is use the blow dryer just to remove all the loose hair this will just give me time now just to look over the haircut and make sure there's nothing else that I'm not really happy with. And then we can then just sort of make sure everything just sits perfect. It's just a little bit there. Because it has to look really, really spot on. Again, I tend to stand up above and look down. So then you can sort of look down and see and then just look through the mirror. Then there's just a couple of other little areas that you need to be looking at when you're cutting hair. <coughs> Let's get a pair of scissors for this. Look around the ear, you tend to see there's some longer bits there. Let's just take those away. Always make sure you protect the ear when you do this part because it's really important, but there's always hair behind there. And that will grow out really quick. Here is has come around the camera. Like, like the little roving reporter. <laughs> little bits in the corners. It's Ian Bailey reporting live for Central News. Mm. That's it. <laughs> That's the one. Okay, so, dust down the guest. Make sure everything's all nice and clean. Behind the ears as well is always popular. Okay, if you want to remove, thank you. If you want to remove any hair that's stuck to the neck, always a nice little trick. Just get a dryer on there. We'll just get the power on that there. Put some heat on the brush. And then as you pop that onto the head it grips the hair and takes it off but it's also quite warm to the wearer so it's a two for one deal there and that just takes everything off nicely which cleans everything down okay and then the last piece before we put the product on try and blow the loose hair out of the head right so we've now got the cut it's time now to put on the last parts of the cut to finish off with savage muck one of Paco's favourites. So we use this is a really really thick product. This is so you just need enough to cover the end of the finger, and then what you do then is warm it up into the hands. So it is quite a, literally a thick product. You've got to warm it up, and then all you're going to do then is apply it because you've got texture. You can see the texture immediately as soon as you put it on. Go through the top, and then all you're going to do then is bring it through to the front using the fingers. If you're doing this at home, the way you do it is apply the hand and put it on like I'm doing now. But pull in the fingers last like a rake and then literally that gives it quite a casual look. And then use the bit of wax that's on the inner part of the hand there. You can use that to then just finish it off. Now at this point I'll be looking at it and sort of looking at that fringe and thinking how it sits. Is it gonna last in the next few weeks? Is there anything else I wanna take off? Generally the areas that are the ones that don't work for me is the corners. So I tend to look at the corners, so I'm now looking at that. There's a couple of strands there that I'm not really pleased with, so I just want to take those off. So you just go back in with your comb and your scissors. And all you do then is just come in to it and just take it off. Because you've got to think about how it's working, how it sits, and how it looks, and how it's going to grow out, okay? There's one piece, let's just come on here. So. That's it. Let's 
should go in there. Take that off. That just keeps everything nice and clean. And again, it's just all about the eye for detail on it and how it, the longevity of the cut will be, how it will grow out. Okay, so one last product now for Paco. Mr. Mutt Beard Oil. Okay, so. <laughs> Hello. Hi, here he is. Right, one square. Yeah, yeah. One square, I'll oh, oh, really? I Beautiful. follow that, my friend, as if it's an aftershave, that's it. On it goes, get it all over the moustache, the beard, everything. I'll feed it and condition it. Simply lovely. It smells nice, that. Eh? Beautiful. You know, that makes sure it's all off your hands, oh, yes. on your napple leather steering wheel, do you? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, so. Nice. Let's just whip this off. What I need you to do now is you can stand here in this area, that's good. perfect. Right, very slowly give us a spin round. Just so everybody can get a look at it. I said spin round, spin round, I said nice. Like you want a revolving uh, you see, Very I'm, nice. I'm a good spinner. You're used to it on the spinner, aren't you? Yeah. That's good. Okay, perfect. Right, so perfect, you stay where you are. Right, this is how it started then. The beginning pot. Hi. Hello. Right, so this is how it started the beginning of the gym. We started with cutting with the thumb leading all the way through because we're looking for a square edge. Then we repeated the other side with the thumb leading. We then went for a middle parting which then allowed us to take the weight line out. Most people think I'll round it in now. If you do that, fair enough, but what we needed was a square edge because then we could decide later when it's dry if it needed to be removed. Thumb again led all the way around. We then segregated from the apex through to the upper occipital bone, cut it in with a rounded edge, and then followed that round to this side, then round to that side. Then we went from short to long on the top. That gave us what we're seeing now. You can look at it on the top and gives us almost like a flat top look. If you left it all square on the top, this would be quite thick and clumpy. So a lot of people say to me, I really want that shaped. That's how you achieve that look. We then brought it one way, and then brought it the other way to replicate that look, and that's how you achieve that look with that corner taken out. We then went back the other way to cross check it, point cut it, blow dried it with the product in, which then allowed us to see that would preserve the fringe straight away. If you alter the pitch and go short to long at, at the front to back, you'd have no fringe and be a lot thicker at the back. So you just have to think about the angle when you're cutting it and stay with it. We then scissor over combed all the way through thinking about the thicker part of the comb first and imagine we line pack i wanted to leave this slightly longer so i put thinning scissors through it to keep that softer i then went in with the clippers on a two and a half faded it out two one and a half one half and then into the skin to get a nice little skin fade all the way through which you can see all the way around thinking about the discipline which was holding the ears down removing the hair on the inside of the ear coming through and then taking the hair off the beard doing the shaping eyebrows making sure all the neck hair is removed all through the back and then really simply scissor over combing and thinning and just making sure everything was right the key areas to look for was on the corner as you blow dry and separate it you can see there's bits that are growing out there that might be a telltale sign that make it so it grows out fast and then a part around the the swirl area the crown which might grow out too fast so again it was just a question of just titivating it and working with it with thinning scissors okay so products we used tonight were we used fat more blowout mousse we then used a little bit of fat more volumizing spray we then blow dried with hard muck and then we then finished off with savage muck and then the last product we used tonight was Mr. Muck Beard Oil. That's it, nice bit of focus there. Excellent. Loads of muck. Then, my friend. That's it, you're back in there, that's it. There you go. Right you're, you're there facing the camera, you're on. You're the star of the show. So yeah. Yes I am. Loads of muck. <laughs> you're the star of the show. Thanks very much, uh, Lewis. It's Thank been you. a real pleasure to do you out tonight. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for the haircut. Last minute, my pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Many thanks to our sponsors tonight, Muck Hair Care, which again, you've seen how good this product works in harmony with the haircut. Again, we'll do Lewis's hair very, very shortly with the photos, and you'll see how they all come out later on Facebook. But again, if you'd like me to teach your team in your salon, visit Scott Valley Cutting Education, and, don't, and feel free to contact me. You can also bring your team here. Again, we'll be back next week with Jay Fairgreave. We'll also be back with Katie Locke the week after, and that will then end this season of haircuts, which will take us up to about 
47, which will be quite nice before Christmas again. Many thanks to my younger brother, there he is, look, for doing all the filming. <laughs> He's great to this, he really is. Many thanks to Paco, many Thank thanks you. to all of you for watching tonight, both international and national tonight. Jamie, Deborah, all of the Mork people, Saxon family, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whoever you're with, have a great evening, great weekend, great pre-Christmas. We'll see you next week. Ciao. Woo! Goodbye. Oh, yes.